singing I hear. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at that lusty Sudra. He's embracing a prostitute in public. Most shameless. And he's intoxicated too. Oh, I must, I must go from here. I can't see this. Oh, but wait, look at her. Oh, I must control my mind and go from this place. That thing that he saw had, would not leave his mind. He wanted to forget it. He wanted to carry on with a sattvic, peaceful, and civilized life. But that poison, which had entered into his heart through his eyes, was so powerful he could not control it. In the same way the sun and moon are eclipsed by a low planet, he became weak and lost all his good sense. Something has happened. When I was walking through the forest today, I did see something. Something that I wanted. Because his intelligence was bewildered by lust, Adamio left his chaste wife and family and moved in with the prostitute. Engaging in sinful acts, he abandoned all the regulative principles of a Brahmin, and he became completely degraded. Yes, my darling. Have you brought me anything today? Only these nice jewels, gold and silver for your pleasure. <laughs> these are nice. Have you brought me anything else? <laughs> well, just some news. Huh? Well, my father, he passed away. So what? <laughs> well, um, he did leave me his inheritance. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> yes, I know. And it will all be for your pleasure, my darling. Ah, Jamil, you flatter me. <laughs> my darling, I'm not trying to flatter you. Please. Just be pleased with me. Be happy. Oh, Ajmil, I am. <laughs> in time, Ajmil became addicted to forbidden acts in order to satisfy the prostitute's lusty desires and to maintain their many children. He had ten children with her, and because of past good impressions, she named his youngest and favorite son, Narayan. Gambling and cheating, he thus wasted his life up till his 88th year. <coughs> Come in! Please, sit down. <coughs> so, how are you 
day? Uh, not very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you feel lucky today? Yeah. You want to play a little dice? Okay, yeah. How much do you have to bet? Show me. Uh, yeah. Ooh, so much. Good, good, good. I think you're cheating. You're, you're cheating. You what? How dare you call me a cheat? I don't need to cheat you to get your money. I want to introduce you to somebody. Sons, come here. Sons, come in. Yes, take this man. Beat him up. Take all his money and drag him out of here. Oh, send in my son, Narayan, too. That cute little boy. are the best of my sons. Mm. All my other sons, they help me in business and so many different, you know, different things. But <coughs> you, Narayan, you know how to make me happy. Okay, darling. Go ahead. Run along now. Go back to your mama. Bye-bye, Narayan. <laughs> yes. He was a good son. snatch your soul from the core of your heart and drag you to the abode of Yamaraj for punishment. Why are you taking this soul who is completely free from sin? This man is completely free from sin? It is true that he was once a very pious Brahmana, but he threw it all away by associating cooking of a prostitute. He is a gambler, a thief, and a murderer. <laughs> Do not think there is a sin he has not committed. According to his religious and irreligious activities, he must pay for his karma in his next life. He must burn in hell. How unfortunate that these servants of the great Yamraj do not understand the truth. That Jamir has already atoned for all his sinful activities. He has atoned not only for sins performed in one life, but for all those performed in millions of lives. For in a helpless condition, he chanted the holy name of Narayan. Even though he did not chant purity, he chanted without offense. And therefore, he is now pure and eligible for liberation. Previously, while performing his daily activities, this Ajamiya would call his son, saying, My dear Narayan, please come here. Although, calling his son, he nevertheless uttered the four syllables, Narayana. In this way, he has sufficiently atoned for sinful reactions committed in millions of lives. As fire brings dry grass to ashes,
invoke the holy name of the Lord, whether chanted knowingly or unknowingly, burns to ashes without fail all the reactions of one's sinful activity. One who chants the holy name of the Lord is immediately freed from unlimited sinful reactions. Even if he chants indirectly, jokingly, or for musical entertainment, or even neglectfully. Therefore, O servants of Yamaraj, do not try to take him to the hellish planets for punishment. You should go now back to your master. <laughs>
Lot fell to me at the time of death. Adamiel chanted the name of the Lord. And even though he was calling his son, he nevertheless returned back to Godhead. Therefore, if one faithfully and inoffensively chants the holy name, where is the doubt that he will return to his Lord? Meanwhile, in the hellish planet, the servants of Yamaraj approached their master. our understanding that you are the supreme judge and master of all living entities. The supreme authority who discriminates between pious and impious. But the punishment ordained by your authority was overruled by four perfect and powerful persons. Please, if you think that we can understand. Please tell us what has happened. My dear servant, you have accepted me as the supreme, but factually, I am not. Above me and above all other demigods is the one supreme master. The supreme personality of Godhead is fully independent and self-sufficient. He is the master of everyone and everything, including the illusory energy. He has his form and qualities, and similarly, his order carriers the Vaishnavas are very beautiful and possess transcendental qualities almost like his. Devotional service, beginning with the chanting of the holy name, is the ultimate dharma for the living entity. My dear servant, you have just witnessed the glorious power of the chanting of the holy name. Never approach those who chant it. Bring me only those sinful persons who do not use their tongues to chant the holy name of the Lord, whose hearts do not remember his lotus feet, and whose heads do not bow down even once before the Lord. Please, bring me all such fools and rascals. O oh my Lord, my servants have surely committed a great offense by arresting a Vaishnava such as a Dhamma. Please, forgive our ignorance. We failed to recognize him as your servant. Therefore, with folded hands, we beg your pardon. We offer our respectful obeisances unto you. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Krishna Krishna! Hare Hare! Hare Rama! Hare Rama! Rama Rama! Ajamil, 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 and 
So, always try to remove your namapras and try to chant the Hare Krishna and it will take you as a Jamil man to Vaikuntha. More than that, you will go to Gulog Vrindavan and Sat Radha. Go, Yeah. <laughs>